Attorneys for a rape victim have filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against San Francisco police for using her DNA collected after a sexual assault to charge her with an unrelated property theft crime some five years later. And as Crown Forest Dan Kerman reports for us tonight, the hope is to stop law enforcement agencies from storing sexual assault victims' DNA and then using it for whatever they wish. Our rights are not being protected by the police. Attorneys for a rape victim have sued the city and county of San Francisco and the police department for storing her DNA collected at the time of the sexual assault and then using it against her in an unrelated property crime years later. Jane Doe came to the police looking for help. She came to the police looking for them to do right by her. And instead, the police betrayed her. The property crime case against Jane Doe was eventually dropped by then District Attorney Chesa Boudin and police said they would no longer undertake the practice of searching the sexual assault database to tie victims to other crimes. The issue isn't just hey we, we can store this and we'll use it in the right way we promise. Well, you, we, you've already proved that you won't do that. The original contract was, hey, here it is. Use it for prosecuting the person that, that victimized me. And they already broke that promise. In fact, attorneys believe there may be thousands of other victims. San Francisco supervisors have passed an ordinance allowing DNA storage for only 60 days. But attorneys say that's not good enough. It's got to be something that's pub available that an independent watchdog can look at. Because otherwise, the misuse or the, the, the temptation to misuse citizens' DNA is too great. State Senator Scott Weiner has a stronger bill awaiting the governor's signature, but this lawsuit will proceed either way. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.